Hello friends, my name is Jen and I love cookies. So today I'm excited because I finally decided to buy a phone stand so I wouldn't have to use my like yoga block lean against a pill bottle situation that I've been doing. And it comes with an attached ring light and I feel like the lighting is so much better now. I'm actually gonna show you dark on this side of my face light everywhere amazing um this feels like a huge step up in my youtube video quality i think i'm gonna i think i like that one all right today i am rating a caramel apple cider cookie from cravery cookies uh so this was one of the six september flavors that i received from them five of which were not chocolate and i will be rating this is the second one um and it looks like this I'm just gonna, just gonna go ahead and open it. Ooh, wow, I got a very strong scent immediately. I'm not 100% sure what the scent is. I think cinnamon. Caramel cinnamon, cin blah, 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 blah. cinnamon caramel, perhaps? There's a hint of apple. Anyway, as soon as I opened the package, there was a strong smell. Um, so this is what the cookie looks like. It says that this cookie is an apple dough with dried apples, a cider reduction, and caramel bits mixed in. And this is the caramel bits that we're seeing on the top as well. So apparently these little caramel things are mixed in. Oh, actually I can see it um, on this corner right here, you can tell there's caramel. Wow, the cookies look way better in this lighting as well. I should have gotten this light a long time ago. It was like $20 on Amazon. Anyway, um, what I noticed about this cookie is that it is very shiny. So I think there's probably a lot of butter or maybe it's the cider reduction. It's also very soft. Like I don't uh, I think if I tried to break it, it would do one of those like gentle bend and then break things as opposed to like a, a clean break. Um, but yeah, I think I want to start, I don't know that I can get a bite without caramel. I think over here, I think I want to start in a bite that doesn't necessarily have a caramel bit and see what I think of it. The longer I have it out, the more appley it smells also. And then we'll go from there. So it is very soft. It's also chewy. Like, it's the Laffy Taffy version of a cookie chewy. Which may not sound appealing if you don't like Laffy Taffy's. But honestly, I have mixed feelings about it, so um, I'm gonna stick with that description. So that second bite did have a caramel bit in it. And the first bite tasted very much like apple cider, which makes sense since apparently there's a cider reduction um, stirred in. But um, that second bite, like I think there was an apple, dried apple piece in there because I noticed from the texture there was dried apple, but I didn't actually notice any difference in the texture from the caramel bit which I expect is like more stickiness or something, but I didn't really notice any, um, oh, I cannot speak today. I'm just so excited about the light. I feel like I'm in a spotlight. Maybe it's making me nervous. Um, <laughs> I expected to uh, notice like more sweetness or more carameliness with the caramel bit and it didn't really make a difference in my opinion. I try to be intentional about getting a caramel bit again. I guess it makes a little bit of a difference, but there are, is caramel stirred into it too. So it's not a huge difference. And the texture is still, they're quite small. Like they look large, but they're very thin. So they don't make that much of a difference, at least not as much as I expected them to. 
I thought it was gonna be like a white chocolate chip and it's just not. It is apple-y though. Um, much more apple tasting than the apple pie cookie that I tried earlier this week. So I do appreciate that. It tastes like apple cider for sure. So additional bites have gotten less chewy, but are still equally as soft. So I wonder if maybe there was unseen caramel in that first bite that made it chewy. And that's what felt Laffy Taffy like to me. I don't know. I think I need to eat this in silence for the rest of the cookie so I can really think about my opinion of it overall. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back with a rating. Okay, so it was definitely very, very soft. Like just soft and moist consistently throughout the whole cookie, which I used to really like, but after eating so many cookies, I actually think that the ones that are a little bit crumbly on the outside and then the gooey soft on the inside, as opposed to gooey soft all the way through, are superior. So that got downgraded a little bit. Um, the first bite tasted very apple cidery to me, but I think my mouth like acclimated <laughs> to the flavor, and it got less apple tasting to me by the end. So when I was finishing the cookie, it was kind of like, just like nothing really stood out about it, I guess. Um, it didn't have like a super strong flavor really in any direction. Um, the caramel didn't feel like it added a lot, although my teeth feel it now, but I didn't notice it a ton while I was eating it. So like it was good, I enjoyed it. Um, if I were at a potluck and there were like multiple cookie options available, I definitely would have tried this one, but I don't think I'd go back for seconds. I would if I had more eat them, but I wouldn't purchase it again. So, um, I mean, it was it was still good. It was definitely above average. Not necessarily anything wrong with it. I just feel like there wasn't anything that made it particularly special. So I think for this one, I wanna go, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go 5.9. That's the answer. All right, so that was the caramel apple cider cookie from Cravery Cookies. It was two of five that I will be rating from them, and it was a 5.9. Um, that's all I've got for today. If you like watching me talk about cookies, please like, comment, and or subscribe below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and eat more cookies.